Absolutely. So now Jashid Brooks is here oh. with me in Amoeba. Say hi, Jashid Brooks. So you can... Hey, what's up? Hey, hey what's up? And uh, he's he's looking in the um, used new arrivals CDs. Beatles. There's always a Beatle connection. Oh, this is your favorite band, isn't it? Well, one of your favorite bands. Is this a bootleg? Oh no, it's not. Complete, complete studio recordings. I have that other box. Now, this this is a highly recommended set. Do you have this? I do not have that. Oh God, this is that the all the movie stuff. Yeah, this is the blues, the Peter Green period, the Blue Horizon, oh, the Nick. No, the Mike Vernon stuff. Here. This is really good. Even Scott Miller likes it. This is really good. How do I make it? Buy this box. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure it's great for that. Like $35? That's cheap. How many CDs are in there? Yeah, you, you, you gotta buy it. No, one, two, three, you gotta buy it. Six. I mean, it's 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 great. He's, he's room. gotta buy it. No, like, I can't get on the There's always room. No. There's always room. There's not always room. Okay, Let, let's do it. Can I do a whack a mole? And how does that work? I just randomly pick a, pick a, C, a CD. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Go to school. This is. Uh, this is the lemon twigs. Oh, uh, that's all you did. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the third. Just I know. I did. I did. I didn't. Yeah, lemon twigs. Yeah. They're from the uh, Long Island or Jersey. Yeah, something they're like sort of Long a, Island. They're I think. two young brothers in their early twenties now, who have sort of this uh, like like wings, the sweet, the raspberries, yeah. sort of a glam pop. Yeah. They, they were like a spandex. I saw them open for Sunflower Bean in Seattle. Oh, you like right. you turn me on a Sunflower Bean. Yeah. yeah. And. Um, there they are. See that really skinny clothes shit. Todd Rung. Yeah, yeah. They sound like Todd Rungren too. In fact, yeah, Todd Rungren is on this record. Oh, is he? It's kind of a rock concept. This is my least favorite. Oh, so uh, you have them. I, don't have, I have the album. Yeah. So that's yeah, a whack and kind of I, I like the idea of them, but I, their songs don't. Okay. I'm gonna do another whack and mole. Okay. All right. So this is just random. You don't even know. You don't watch my channel? Five rock whack and moles or five random? No, you don't. Of course he doesn't. I know. I should. <laughs> Okay, them, right? this is Nathaniel uh, Ratcliffe and the oh. Night Sweats. Okay. You know anything about them? Sometimes he's on TV a lot, or you know, like yeah, talk he's on, shows. He's on TV a lot, like he's talk shows. Popular. Kind of a popular guy. Yeah. It's, um, it's kind of he's on Stax, kind of rootsy, right? kind of soulful. He's on Stax, got a soulful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of ballsy. I I've never heard, uh, actually heard him, but I see his name okay. all the time. Okay. There you go. Okay. That really this works. isn't laughable, all, but this is good. X Hex. From uh, oh, North Pacific, like, North West? Yeah. yeah. Wax. Uh, they're, uh, yeah, it's, uh, okay. what's her name, Martha? The Lumineers. Isn't Martha Jack, Martha. that's Jack White thing? Is that? XX? No, no. Lumineers. Oh, Lumineer. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not Jack, sure I don't know about that. The Jack White thing, right? Uh, no. I don't know. This is a dual tone. Oh. You like yellow and are free? Oh, I like right. I don't, I don't have the, okay, let me. What's the one with her? her that's, her, her, yeah, that's, hold on a second. There's no L's here. I saw her okay. once, so solo. Eleanor Friegeberger Burger. The Fiery Furnaces. That's it, Fiery Furnaces. Her and her brother. I saw them at the Fillmore, actually. You did? Yeah. I saw the, her solo. What's that record? A Gallows Park, Gallows Bird. Some, that's my favorite Fiery fur, Furnace record. You know, I don't have this record, but she's got very interesting. Great, interesting voice. East yeah, Coast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. It was pretty low key, but it was good. I don't even remember if she had a band. She didn't have a solo. Okay. Um, they did a KEXP -E show with her. I have no, no idea what. Oh, I know King Gizzard. I know King, King Gizzard is kind of the oh, psychedelic. Good, right? They're good. Like the, the problem I have is it seems like they put out an album out every four months. They're, yeah. they're like the Stephen King of, yeah. of psychedelic, newy, gooey, jammy. Yeah, I don't have any King Gizzard. I keep I seeing their records, and every time I go into a store, there's a new, uh, <laughs> new King King I think Gizzard record. Playing here soon. Actually. I'm sure they probably play. Like, they probably play every probably. week. Yeah, I don't even know um, where they're from. Yeah. So right across the street on the next block, Brooks and I used to go to the I Beam. It was a gay disco, but no, not because of that. But they had new wave and new wave shows, and we saw the very first tour of the Cure. Echo and the Bunny Man. We saw Violent Femmes, Billy Bragg. I think we saw, um, oh, uh, I think it was Teardrop Explodes. Teardrop Explodes, Julian Cope. Yeah, I think um, saw the Cope there. Right? Do you have uh, Peggy, Su the Peggy Suicide, the Julian Cope album? It's so yeah, good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. It's so good. Um, yeah, I think it is. Yeah. But that was a great club. It had a sh maybe what, three or four year lifespan of that kind of stuff. You know? Something like the early 80s, right? The late 70s, early 80s. 
Yeah. Great stuff there. All right, I think that's enough for this section. Thank you.